Hi guys, Karen here with another Luck Who Say video. Welcome back to our channel. Thank you so much for watching. I was just to, to um, I was just about to dive deep into doing my um, cleaning of my Luck Who Say items that uh, for the winter time, like if any of them have any uh, stains or anything like that. And I remembered I received a question about how I go about doing that, so I'm going to show you what I do. This will be a really quick video, not going to keep you guys long today. By the way, happy early Valentine's. Um, don't worry, that's a towel in the water. Um, first off, what I like to do is there are two ways that I clean, but three, three. Um, I have three things here. So the first thing that I do, don't worry, this is just um, soap and um, baking soda mixed and it's like a paste. So this is the first way that I um, clean my pots. Um, if it's just wear and tear, just regular everyday stuff. For instance, this skillet right here, um, we use it, but we use it um, a lot of times when it's not in use, it's kind of just sitting. Um, and I'll put like garlic or something on it or what not to rest on it something light so it's not doing anything but as it sits as you can see there's some um, darker areas here and that sort of thing now I'm not sure that I'm gonna get that off and also because it sits a little bit it will collect dust and you know just oil from just kind of sitting in a kitchen where cooking is constantly done and so for this pan I would just use my soap and baking soda mixture and then wash it in this super de duper hot water i don't know if you can see the steam coming off of that but it's hot believe me oh there it is you can see some steam so that's what i would do for this one um for my for my griddle as you can see it gets used quite often and it sits out on the stove so it does collect a lot more oil and grease than the skillet does i use a coarse salt mixture so for this one i would just put the salt on it and this helps collect um all of the oil grease and grime from it very simply and then most of the time I let it sit for like five or ten minutes and then I just rub it off and you can use and then once I rub it off we'll wash it off a little bit with a damp towel kind of like I just make sure all of this the salt gets rubbed in and you can do this for your cast iron as well um, you just rub it all in to make sure that it's nice and in there and collecting all of the grease and grime and and then I will dunk it into the water and so basically it's just a two-step process it's just deciding whether or not my pan needs the soap and baking soda mixture or if it needs a salt mixture Most of my grill pans I have one that's cast iron and then I have this one um, I do this all the time and like I said before in a previous video uh, during each season I try to clean especially the things that don't get used very often so this is my quick tip today obviously you don't have to do this at all but this is how I make sure that I'm maintaining all of my items and it's not just my La Crusade items I also do this for all of my traditional cast iron as well and um, because I wanted to last for a long time not necessarily to hand down to anybody because yeah uh, they would really like that <laughs> but just for myself because you know you spend a lot of money on the items so you want them to you want to get the most out of them so this is why I go ahead and do this and I'm going to clean this one and the skillet and I also have my uh, paella pan so I'll show you that too so the paella pan is you know the black the black side of it the satin cast iron here is fine so the front part is fine but the back side it, I try to make sure that I'm heading off the little uh, oil marks and things like that before they like take over the whole pan um, 
and it's just wear and tear mind you you're not going i'm not going to be able to stop it from being worn from using from constant use because these are in constant rotation they're always being used so you know there are there is going to be some wear and tear that doesn't bother me at all not you know um the insides uh, especially of my lighter um i'll show you so like of the lighter shades you can see there's some darkening here um, because it gets used and that's just going to happen. That doesn't, that doesn't bother me at all because it's just used. Um, but what I am trying to avoid are chips and things like that. And also heavy buildup of any oil or anything, um, like that, because the longer the buildup is there, the harder it is to remove. So this is just my process. So once again, I use the baking soda soap mixture as a paste um, and that's what I'll do for this one this one doesn't need any salt for my grill pans I use the salt base here and then no matter what I use they head on over to the hot hot water to sit for a little bit and then I continue cleaning from there so as, as you can see I just take some of the paste and I just rub it on to my pan especially in these areas here and I try to let it sit a little bit, maybe like three or four minutes. And then I go in with my uh, towel. Oh, that came out real fast. Look at that, that is gone. Okay, yay. Um, literally that, that one is gone. Okay, and so over here, and I just go, oh, that one too. Oh, no, it's still there. Um, and I just go over it with, uh, a little scrubby um, towel and and then I just clean it that way and so I know you guys do not want to see me cleaning everything um, so I thank you guys so much for watching um, please like share and subscribe um, and I will see you guys in the next video